Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you a dramatic game played between American woman Grandmaster Anna Zatonsky and Russian woman Grandmaster Paulina Shuvalova. This game is from 2023 World Rapid Team Championship. Zatonsky opened up with d4 to which Shuvalova answered with knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, d5. Queen's Gambit declined this on the board and White is going for exchange variation. This is allowing White to get a classical pawn center and usually in this line White is managing to organize a very dangerous kingside attack. Something which we are also going to witness in this game. Okay, H pawn is marching forward still White is not even thinking of castling kingside and is pushing forward her h pawn. Later, if needed, this rook can also join the attack from the third rank e3, opening up the light squared bishop's diagonal, bishop b7, rook h3. The rook is also coming, and yeah, black has to do something. Otherwise, if you acquire a waiting strategy, then you will just get smashed. That's why black is hurrying to neutralize this light squared bishop with f5, but white is capturing m passant. Bishop takes f6, bishop c2. Now, for example, white can play queen d3 and harass black king further. That's why black stopped that. Uh, Queen d3 with c4, but according to Stockfish, you should do it with bishop a6. A difficult move to find. Uh, instead, we have c4, uh, more logical, more human like approach. There comes knight g5, white is offering the knight, but if you win it, then oh sorry, if h takes g5, then queen h5 is coming and your king is in a mating net, you know, there is no way out. Uh, that's why after knight g5 we have queen e8, of course black didn't d uh, dare to win that knight. There comes knight h7, rook f7, bishop g6, and now white can win an exchange, but uh, white is not even hurrying to win an exchange. Then we have knight g5, white knight returns back, and only in here, since there is too much pressure on f7, uh, black is accepting the peace sacrifice, h takes g5 now. Uh, white is finally managing to open up the h file and rook h8 followed by queen h5, queen h7, queen h8 is the threat now, bishop d6, black is opening up a luft for her king to escape and it was in here that white made a very strange move, king f1, I just can't understand guys what's the idea hidden behind this move, a losing move. Well, uh, queen h5, the logical continuation is winning. If king f8, then take on f7, then play g6. If queen f6, then check, then bishop g5. Bishop g5 really is good. Takes, takes, it's over. Or if queen g8, then rook f3, check. Yeah, okay, if bishop f3, then check, then you are winning the rook. You are an exchange up and with an attacking position, too many weaknesses in black's camp. Yeah, a7 can be a target, white can easily convert this. Instead we have king f1 and it's in here that black landed a counter blow and here we go guys, rook takes f2 landed. Yeah, white just asked herself to be crushed. What is this king f1? Rook f2 and now it's Paulina Shuvalova who is uh, dominating. Let's see how she realized the advantage. Rook f8 check, okay finally she developed the knight, switched the rook into the game and now it's black who is attacking. Black has two minor pieces against the rook right, more than enough. Black is setting up a very solid position. I'm not sure maybe at this point they had uh, there uh, just a few seconds on the clock seems like that at this point they are making just random moves in order to solidify position uh, gain some extra time and then proceed yeah if you have any information let us know uh, what was the time situation on the board at this point but yeah black is not hurrying but the knight on g6 Probably a better spot for the knight, b5, queen d2, queen g4, rook f5, a4, a6, takes, takes, 
rook b1 bishop e4 uh, rook b1 was a huge blunder and since white is going to lose more material enough is enough white resigned yeah there was a very dramatic game and a little bit painful you know that Zatonsky managed to organize such a nice attack but failed to uh, finish why king f1 guys why king f1 just play an active chess queen h5 and crush your opponent's king okay in the end the chess puzzle for you the task is to announce announce mate in three it's white to move we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video take care